Hi everyone, in this live demo we will be showing the integration between e-invoicing phase 2 solution from Flick Network with Microsoft Dynamics Finance and Operations. So let us begin by creating a new sales order in Microsoft Dynamics. So I'll click on new. Select the relevant customer and fill in the required fields and click on create. So once the sales order is created, we can add in the line items. Okay, so once added, we can click on save and uh, we'll have to confirm the sales order. Okay, let's wait for this process to get completed. Okay, so once completed, we can generate the invoice in Microsoft Dynamics. So till here, it's the normal business procedure for raising the invoice. So I'll pause this invoice in Microsoft Dynamics in order to create the e-invoice. Let's wait for the posting of invoice. So once the invoice is posted, you can go to the properties section where we have a custom button called e-invoice. Once you click on that, you can see the Zatka message getting updated as cleared and the status showing as successful, which means that the invoice has been cleared. And we'll scroll down to see the PDF A3 file, which has been attached to this invoice. So this is a demo format just to show you the PDF A3 compliance, which is mandated by Zatka for phase two. And we will be designing this PDF according to your current invoice formats. Now let's take a look at why this is a PDF A3 and not just any PDF file. So the QR which you're seeing over here is a phase two QR. And if I go to the attachment section, you can see the XML file of this e invoice has been embedded with this PDF. And inside the standard section, it shows the ISO standard, which denotes the PDF A3 standard. And we can click on verify confirmance and see the status getting changed as verification succeeded. So this is a paid application. And if you want to test it out for free, you can visit demo.verapdf.org where you can browse the PDF file. Then click on next. And over here you can see the compliance showing us passed and with the validation profile is also written over here. So there are many rules in order to comply with this PDF A3 and it has passed all of these checks. So this is how we validate a PDF A3 file and uh, that's all in this integration video. Thank you.